Hello and welcome to the XBMC Remote for Android comparison video. This video is meant to give you an idea of how two of the most popular XBMC Remote apps for Android work. First, we'll cover the official XBMC Remote, and after that we'll look at another app called Yahtzee. Before we jump into the apps, I wanted to show you how to set up XBMC so that you can actually remote control it from one of the Android apps. What you have to do is go into XBMC, hit System, then pick Services, then go to the Web Server se section, and what you want to do there is you want to enable control of XBMC via HTTP, you want to pick a username, and you want to pick a password. You're going to need the username and the password as well as the IP address of the computer that XBMC runs on later on once you're setting up the Android app so that way um, it can connect. The first app we're going to look at is the official XBMC remote brought to you by Team XBMC. So what I'm going to do is the first thing that I'm going to do with both of these apps is I'm going to cover how the layout and the browsing works in the app and I will do so by starting to show you how the movie section work. So here you can see me um, open up the XBMC app which is already configured for my XBMC client and I'm going to go ahead and hit the movies tab there and you can see this is how it lays out all the movies. Um, there's a couple buttons at the bottom um, the button next to uh, the little camera is actually meant for showing you all the actors um, here I go back to the main menu and I go into the TV section so you can see all the banners. Um, this is all pulled directly from your library in XBMC. So once you scrape all your stuff to the library, um, the app will actually download all the pictures and all the um, season posters right there as well as the episode posters and it will pull them all into XBMC uh, on the little tablet. So here you can then decide what episode you want to watch. You see the cast and then you can simply hit play at the bottom and at this point in time it will start playing on your TV and it will give you an idea of and what's so actually currently what showing. We finish these, get some roadies, head back to so both apps actually have virtual keyboards built in and I wanted to show you how the navigation works with them. So what you're going to see me do here is I'm going to go into the, uh, into the virtual keyboard or the remote control here and then I'm going to navigate around within my XBMC installation. So you can kind of get an idea how fast this works. It actually works really well. Um, you have the same up, down, left, right buttons that you would have on a regular remote. You have a select button in the middle. You also have a couple other buttons that you can use to jump between um, the TV shows, the movie sections, um, and various other things such as pictures, and everything will get you directly into those sections with an XBMC. Um, you'll notice it moves relatively quickly. There's really not a whole lot of delay. Um, when you pick something, it works really well. Um, you have buttons to update the library. Um, you can also turn it sideways, like you can see here, and it'll give you a slightly different layout um, if you like that better. There is one thing that a lot of people complain about with any of the apps, which is a lot of people um, have remember where buttons are just simply by the feel of the remote. You won't get that with these Android remotes, but it works relatively well as you can see here, and it's free. So the second app I wanted to look at is called Yahtzee, and this is um, actually another pretty awesome remote which is available on Google Play for free. Um, and as, a, as the same as with the XBMC remote, I'm going to go ahead and show you how it kind of works when you're going through the layout and when you're browsing. So again, I'm going to open it up here, um, and then this brings you actually directly to the remote. From there you have to swipe to the right to get to another menu, which from there you can actually pick movies, TV shows, or music. And then within here you can you see on the left again, you see your posters, you see when the movies were made. And the nice thing about Yahtzee is, as you just saw me, you can actually sort these movies a slightly different way. In um, the official XBMC remote, you can't really do that. It pretty much comes one way, and that's pretty much it. So here, I can sort by rating, by year, or by name. So here, I'm actually going back into the TV section, and again, it also downloads the, bo the banners and the season thumbs and the thumbs for the episodes from the XBMC library, which is pretty much the same as the other one does. Um, again, you pick one there. And then from there, you can actually play it by hitting the play button at the top there. So as with the official XBMC remote, I'm going to show you how to navigate using Yahtzee. And this is very similar to how the virtual remote is in the XBMC official app. Uh, basically, you get the up, down, left, right buttons and a couple other buttons at the top. You can see the buttons you use to go to either the movies, the TV, the music. Um, there's also one other kind of neat feature, which I'm going to show you here in just a minute. Um, it's very similar to how the... Um, and I just pushed it right there. It's very similar to how the little uh, pencil heads work on an old laptop keyboard. You kind of just put your finger in the middle and that's kind of where it centers and then you can dr um, move your finger up and move it back down and it'll kind of press and hold it. Um, it's really not any different, it's just a gesture kind of keyboard. Um, that button I just pushed there is actually meant to show you a trailer. Um, you can also hit the info button there to bring up more info about stuff. Um, TV shows don't have a trailer so you didn't actually see a trailer pop up but that's how that would work, and um, that's what the little I button is for. 
So there are some other pretty cool features that I didn't cover specifically in the video, but uh, if you go into, for example, the YouTube app within Android and you pull up a YouTube video and you want to show it on the big screen, what you can do is there's a share button within the YouTube app that gets put there once you install one of either one of these apps, and you simply have to hit the button and then you can display it directly in XBMC, which is really awesome. The other thing that's really nice about Yahtzee is it has a uh, menu for other programs. So if you're running like Artwork Downloader or any of the other uh, programs that you can download, you can access those directly from within the uh, remote, which is kind of nice. So I'm really a big fan of both of these apps. Um, they work really, really well, and you, I never really had any problems with it, and they're free. Um, so what's some of the pros that there are for the official XBMC remote? Well, the official XBMC remote is really easy to use for non-techie people. Um, I realized that the, the very first time I used it and I showed it to people, they were all like, oh wow, this is really simple and it works really, really well. Um, the other thing that's really nice about it is it just kind of works. Um, you don't have to really do anything with it. it it's not fancy. It just kind of does its job. Um, some of the cons for it, it's a little bit harder to um, set up initially because it doesn't have the, the wizard that uh, Yahtzee has. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, in regards to Yahtzee, um, the pros that I see for it is it's easy to set up initially because it has the auto detection wizard where it actually will go out and kind of find your XBMC installations on your network. Um, it has access to add-ons and programs within XBMC, which is pretty cool. Um, the XBMC remote doesn't have that. Um, however, I do find Yahtzee a little bit um, weirdly laid out. And when I say that, um, I'm talking about that menu that you have to pull up by swiping left to right. Um, I think that makes it really, really difficult for people who aren't really that familiar with Android or with you know techie stuff in general. And one of the reasons why you want to have a remote is uh, make it easy to use for other people. And I think that's where Yahtzee falls a little bit short. Um, if you're more of a power user, um, I would definitely say check out Yahtzee. I think you'll enjoy that a little bit more. Um, the XBMC remote is good too though, but yeah. Those are kind of my final thoughts. Um, if you have some thoughts on this subject, um, go ahead and post them down in the comments or shoot me an email um, or stop by my blog and post something there. Um, I'd appreciate any kind of feedback. Um, if you do want to go to my blog, it's xbmcstuff.tumblr.com and uh, I'll be keeping you guys up to date on what I'm going to do next. All right, have a good one. Bye.